two tone engagement ring. Yes, you're here for the ultimate breakdown on how to choose the right metal color for your engagement ring. Is it two tone? Is it all gold? This video is for you. I'm gonna break it down to three simple points for you. Basically, how to pick the one metal that's right for you. Number two, which one is better? And of course, the last and the juiciest one is how to avoid making the wrong decision for your forever ring. Not because you don't have the knowledge to, but sometimes when people recommend something, it's not that they have your best interest in mind, more like they're recommending it because that's the best they can do. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at by Bonnie Jewelry. Save this video, subscribe to my channel because we all need some bling in our lives. Yes, let's go. All right, question number one, how to pick the right ones? So the main question you should be asking yourself is how important is color to you, okay? So here on the left hand, we have brown that is set on two tones, so that's gold and white. And then here we have something that's all yellow. So I don't know if you can tell in the video, oftentimes when you have a full gold ring, it makes the entire ring appear a little bit warmer. So that's the reason why you have to ask yourself if color is important to you. Usually when clients are going really, really white stones or want the diamond to look really white, what the white prongs will do is that it will reflect more white into your stone. So that's totally a personal preference. And then if you look on this side, these are what we call the fancy shape. So here we have our newest Claudia collection and that's in all gold and here you'll have a ring let me move it to the same finger this is our uh, Haley collection and that's white and yellow and this is all yellow so the first question to ask yourself is how important the color is if the overall ring is warmer does that bother you and do you want the extra kind of white and iciness on the diamond so that should be able to help you figure out if two-tone is the right metal for you a lot of times I notice that the white prongs does kind of disappear from face up and then if you look at the side if your ring is all yellow for example then it just the whole ring appears a little bit warmer so that's the thing that you have to consider when you're looking for a two-tone engagement ring number two question which one is better right you guys want to find out there is no real answer to that all i can tell you is the longevity of the difference between a two-tone which is can be made with platinum and white gold or the all gold right so with all gold it's really really like low maintenance in terms of the metal and the same with platinum and gold when you get to white gold and yellow gold mix that's when i feel like the maintenance can come in because white gold requires water rhodium plating so if the basket part of your ring is white gold and for some reason you're in healthcare or something and you wash your hands all the time and that rhodium is coming off i think that's when you need to consider the maintenance of it like how much does it bother you to have to keep going back and replate only that part to be white again right so that's why when we make our two-tone rings is always going to be platinum and gold and that so leads me to my third point which is how how to avoid making the wrong decision on your forever ring. A lot of times when you walk into a jewelry place and they're just like, oh, should we do two tones? Should we do uh, gold metal? And you're not even thinking about the white part being platinum or white gold, right? You're just going with whatever the other person is recommending, right? But you need to know this. This is a very important part is that if it is done in platinum, one thing you really need to understand and be educated is that platinum requires a really high melting point to work with. So not every single jeweler out there is going to be able to work with platinum or have the experience of working with platinum so a lot of times they will just say okay go with white gold and yellow gold and then you're like okay yeah that's fine and they might not have explained to you the difference between white gold with yellow gold and platinum with yellow gold right so you just kind of go with that or rose gold with white gold then you start noticing your ring fading over and over again and then you get annoyed right so i think that is the one tip that i can give to you to avoid making the wrong decision and of course you are here because you want to hear bonnie what are your thoughts i get this question asked a lot if it was you what would you choose okay i will tell you that i definitely personally favor two-tone over uh, all yellow especially if it is a white diamond in the center i feel like when the diamonds is reflecting the right prong it really like if you have like a def g color it really makes it like kind of white but i've also seen rings that are made in all yellow obviously right here that are absolutely stunning it's just an overall warmer look so i feel like you really have to ask yourself that question 
And then of course, get educated about the difference on the platinum and the white gold part. And I made another video only talking about platinum and white, which I think you should go and watch that right now because it's important to know the difference, how it wears, what you put on your hands, sweat, perfume every day, how that affects your ring. And we have made so many beautiful two-tone engagement ring, all gold engagement ring, and rose gold two-tone, all rose gold. A little bonus tip also, if you're watching this two-tone video, you're like, okay, what about rose gold? You haven't talked about rose gold. Rose gold doesn't really add too much yellow into the overall ring because it is pink, uh, but it does add like an overall pink. So if pink or rose suits your skin tone or your skin color, I do love a beautiful all rose gold engagement rings. We have other videos of all rose gold engagement ring that you should check out and other two-tone engagement rings that you definitely should look at. Comment below if you prefer a two-tone look or you prefer all yellow which team are you on team yellow team two-tone tell me tell me i want to hear your thoughts if you have other two-tone engagement rings or shapes or color that you want to see let me know below and don't forget to follow me on instagram where i'll be showing you all the pictures of differences in metal and i'll see you in my next episode bye